No, it's not another anti-EV propaganda video, so you might want to pay attention. Toyota has recently developed a new ammonia engine that will replace EVs for good. Look out Tesla lovers, the end is near. The Japanese company sells EVs as well, but is adamant about not making them an exclusive part of their future. Partnering with the Chinese state-owned GAC Group, they are exploring alternative and cleaner forms of power generation for vehicles. Pioneering the ammonia engine, they're all hell-bent on putting EVs to rest for good. But when we say ammonia, do we really mean the cleaning agent ammonia? You know, the one that you scrub down your bath with? Can I just pour that into my tank one day and not have to worry about gas prices or even charging up my car? An ammonia engine is a form of internal combustion engine, just like a gas and diesel engine that uses ammonia to power it. In conventional plants today, ammonia is made by combining hydrogen produced from coal and natural gas with nitrogen. Now it seems strange, but ammonia is extremely green and eco-friendly, unlike gas and diesel engines. Ammonia is made up of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. And because it doesn't contain carbon atoms, when it is burned in the engine, it emits 90% less greenhouse gases, mitigating future pollution. Now I know for sure I have the environmentalist's attention. You're saying this sounds too good to be true. Well, there have already been prototypes built and tested. Just check out the first ammonia-powered zero emissions tractor. The tractor demonstration on the farm was such a huge milestone that can't be overstated. I think for our team to see their technology in action in a real world setting is validation of our own hard work and it's a huge, huge accomplishment for the rest of the industry to see that there are technologies out there, there are people working hard to make it happen, and there is a promise for the future of green transportation. But what about hydrogen engines? Wouldn't they be better for powering vehicles? While hydrogen is highly reactive and a potent energy carrier, it still produces lots of carbon byproduct. Ammonia, on the other hand, while less reactive, can yield enough potential energy to get the job done, especially if you blend it with other elements. EV owners who reluctantly bought their vehicles are now wondering if they made the wrong choice, but luckily, I assure you that you didn't. As with any new idea, the ammonia engine is not perfect and still has a further few developments to undergo before it can replace Teslas and other electric vehicles completely. Here is a direct comparison breakdown between the two power plants. While ammonia engines produce significantly less greenhouse gases in the form of nitrous oxide, EVs don't have this issue at all. However, EVs are battery powered, having less moving parts and require less maintenance and ammonia engines work just like regular gas engines do, but they are still susceptible to wear and tear and the need for repairs as the average vehicle with a combustion engine has about 200 moving parts. But Ammonia is energy dense, meaning you can get a lot more range out of a single gallon of fuel. Whereas with electric, many people struggle with anxiety not knowing exactly when they'll run out of juice. Of course, there are also the obvious drawbacks like infrastructure for one. Consumers are already used to going to a conventional gas station and filling up or plugging into a charging station, sometimes even within the convenience of their own home. There is no such thing as an ammonia station and one of the main reasons why is because developers have not yet found a way to safely source hydrogen in a green way that won't offset the benefits of less carbon emissions. Then there's containment. Hydrogen is already being used on the industrial market, but pure ammonia is generally stored as a liquid in refrigerated double-walled storage tanks. In a gaseous state, ammonia is very smelly, hard to contain, and hazardous for health. Specialized production, storage, and distribution will take a considerable amount of investment. There are definitely great arguments for both sides, but ask yourself this question. Why does one have to die for the other to survive? Maybe they can coexist and complement each other. Currently, heavy-duty trucking accounts for one quarter of greenhouse gas emissions within that market. Replacing that diesel with ammonia could be a start and EVs can corner the urban transportation sector with their clean and efficient profile. With the Japanese spearheading this project, the quality is going to be top-notch in A1. And if the Chinese are sourcing the materials, you can bet your bottom dollar that there are going to be loads of engines in the market very soon. 
There's nothing quite like feeling the rumble and hearing the roar of raw horsepower beneath you. We all have a part to play in our planet's survival, but I think the ammonia engine could be the perfect balance between green energy and the conventional driving experience.